Okay, this is Meteor Bolt here, about to strike with part two of my playthrough of New Pokemon Snap. Last time on uh, this playthrough, I right. <clears throat> finally got to the point in the game where I'm done with the tutorials, and I did one level, and now the game is finally allowing me to choose what I want to do next. So, I'm going to take a quick look at the settings menu. You can change various settings to customize your gameplay experience. You can even change some of them during your research trips. Check the pause menu to see what they are. Uh, motion controls off because I'm using a pro controller. Navcom, I don't know what that means. Controller vibration on. Hmm, lots of different options. Camera speed, pointer speed. Hmm. I kind of like the pointer to be a little faster. And the camera. Left stick controls, regular, 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 okay. Button, sound, other. Undiscovered subjects, routes. Display, don't display. Hmm. I'm gonna say don't display. I think. Mm, I'll go with whatever the standard is. Auto upload photos. All right, then check out the lab. Yeah. Hello, Rita. This is the professor's lab. Oh. Not that it's your first time here, of course. This is where the professor does his research and works on mechanical stuff. <sighs> mechanical stuff. <clears throat> In fact, he pretty much lives here. Right. Hmm. What is he a professor of exactly? Anyway, let me give you a quick rundown of what you can do here. That server over there is where we store our research work. There are a few things you can do with all that data. First, First you can check your Pokedex. Or Photodex. Wow, I just automatically said Pokedex. That's the encyclopedic record you're building with the photos you're taking. Right, I know. <laughs> Isn't it cool getting to put together your very own Pokedex? Photodex? Wow, I said it again. Next, here's your space. That's where you can see your personal photo album and adventure milestones. By the way. Your album is for photos you want to keep but not put in your photo decks. <laughs> that would have been nice if they explained that earlier. Because I saved a lot of photos I didn't really care for. You can edit your photo album photos in some cool ways, too. Hmm, am I forgetting anything? Professor! Hey, Professor, was there anything else I was supposed to mention? Also. Did you cover... Wow, he just kind of popped up there. Did you cover what we can do on the internet? Oh yeah, that was it. If you use the online internet feature, you can see photos from players all around the world. Maybe later. If you really like a photo, you can tell the photographer, nice job, by giving the photo a little digital medal. Aww, a cute little digital medal. They're called sweet medals. Give, give all you want. People love getting them. That's right. You can also see other photographers' rankings in each score category. Okay. All right, I think that's everything. I'm sure you'll figure it, out, it all out quick. Don't be shy, try everything out. All right, so here's my photo decks. Oh, loading, great. Um, Pokemon and map, map, cool. Here you can view information about courses you've researched. Pokemon and objects of interest are marked on the map so you can look back on your trips. In this lush green park, see Pokemon up close in their natural habitat. So, alright. This doesn't seem super useful. Uh, the course runs along a large lake and through a field of colorful flowers. Pokemon are a regular sight here which makes it the ideal location for a young up-and-coming photographers. So do I earn 
new routes or what? Hmm. Interesting. Pokemon. Show me a photo of a Pokemon to make a page for it. On that page, you can move your pointer over the Pokemon and press A to see its movements and hear its cry. Ah, like Pokemon from ages past. Pokemon games from ages past. If you discover it has other forms, you'll be able to see those here too. Golem. Okay, so the number of stars is the pose. It's just about the pose. So if I find it in other poses, they'll go in these. Interesting. So I'll try to get one on the ground or in the water next time. Cool. All right, I'll look through this a bit later. Now it seems all that's left to do is go check out that first course again. Hmm. Or MySpace. What? Let's check this out. Album. Hmm. I don't want to look at my album yet. Research titles. Do I get to pick one to use? I'll present you with various research titles as you progress through our survey. Check, check here to see what's possible to get and your progress on each one. Oh, so these are like achievements. Research Flair National Park for the first time. A bunch of unknown. Okay, yeah. Looks like most of that's locked. Research Log. Various records about your research here. I update them constantly, so come back and check anytime. Playtime. Expeditions. All right. Yeah, this is just like stats. Not very interesting. Your info. Drift. Uh, my photo. Hmm. Let's go with me surprised. And my name is still Drift, so yeah. All right, let's not check out the internet just yet. All right, let's do some research. Ah, you two again. It's just the two of you on this island, huh? Are you headed out on another expedition already? Before you go, let me tell you one more thing you can do with your research camera. You can run a scan. Oh, that'll give you details about your surroundings. It tells you about nearby Pokemon and points out anything unusual. Hey, so Professor, what counts as unusual? You've never given me a solid answer. So. Well, that's a kind of a weird question to ask what's unusual. Basic, basically anything that makes the system go, check this out. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll, that's all the detail we're gonna get. Yep. You'll get the hang of it once you try it. Rita, would you mind demonstrating? Yeah. Leave it to me, Professor. All right, and get that camera ready. Tutorials are based on default button layouts. Yeah, I know. Running a scan is easy. All you gotta do is press the X button. Try it out. Okay, let's scan those canisters. You saw that Pokemon's name pop up, right? Yeah. And did you also notice that question mark? I did. That tells you there's something you can take a closer look at. Ah. Uh. And then press X again. Yes. The Neo One. This vehicle is essential for your Pokemon research. Ah. Well, pretty easy, right? When this icon 
button pops up at the bottom of your screen. There's something nearby to check out. Hmm. Okay. When you see that, try running a scan and take a careful look around. Oh, right. I almost forgot. There's one more cool thing you should know about scanning. Some Pokemon will react to the sound and electrical signal from the scan. Oh. Finally, some way to actually interact with them. The professor calls it an accidental say cheese feature. Anyway, that ought to cover everything. Professor. Hey, Professor. Explanations all done. Thank you. Thanks, Rita. Don't hesitate to run a scan. It'll tell you a lot about your surroundings. I'm wondering if it ever chases the Pokemon away, though. I think even though he said don't hesitate, I'm still going to hesitate sometimes. First of all. In this lush green park... Lots of, okay, so just this one. Alright, right back here. Oh, 72 photos per expedition. Okay. That's good to know. Alright, let's try a scan. Um, that's a pretty good photo. Come on, look at me. Oh, I didn't see these guys before. Whoa. Some charred fruits on the ground. Did a Pokemon do this? I don't know. A fire Pokemon probably burn them. Hmm. I don't know what the symbol is trying to tell me. Oh. Crystal Bloom. A crystal Bloom that grows on Florio Island. Okay. It's a weird pose. Hmm. Can get a better photo of a Magikarp this time. Hmm. Come on, jump up. All right, whatever. Uh, there's like a burrow in that tree. There you go. Ooh. There's something there. Hoot Hoot has an unusual way of sleeping, always on one foot. Okay.
time. Hmm. I don't see much else I can do here. marginally better than my first attempt. I don't know. It was kind of more of the same, though. It's time. Getting the hang of this course, aren't you? Why don't you pick some photos to show me? Okay. I'll pick some photos. Let's see. Hmm. I like that one. And then... That's a pretty good one. I like the look on its face in that one. It's like, what are you doing here? That's a pretty good one. It's a good one, but I already have one of it in flight, so... Go with that. And that's a crappy one. More of the same... There's a lot of them in that one, and it's pretty much dead center frame. Okay, why don't we pick one with no subject? Oh, I can't show it to him? Because it doesn't have a subject Pokemon? I guess that makes sense. Now, let's see what we've got. That's a better score than last time. Dodrio. It's a two star photo. That's new. Cool. That's a pretty good score. Next is Pichu. It's a two-star photo. That's new. Hmm. Wow. That's a pretty good score for kind of a boring photo. Must be that look on its face. Next, we've got Grookey. Isn't it adorable? It's a little bit better photo than last time, I think. Yeah, a little bit. Teeny, teeny bit. Really not a good photo at all, though. Buffalant. A new discovery. Yep, it's new. Nice work. Seems like it's on its way somewhere. Nice work. Keep it up. Hmm. Maybe I can get a photo of it grazing or something, and that'd be a different one. Different pose. Nice work. <laughs> Bidoof is calming. Okay. Better size and placement than last time. It's a better photo. Mm. No, this one is not going to be as good. Ah, here we go. Nice work. Mm, it seems to be swimming. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. Hmm. 
but it's no better opposed than it flying. Okay. Pretty good photo though. I'm gonna go with the, that one because it's more centered. Very bad photo. A magic card. New one star. Oh, because it's flopping around on the ground. It's not in the air this time. Tail out. Seems calm. Florges. Nice work. Not as good because the pose isn't as good. Huh. Yeah, the first one's better. This is comfy. It's a one star photo. That's new. Hmm. Having other Pokemon in the photo is a nice touch. Hmm. Yeah, that first one I took was better. All right, research level going up. All right. Another step forward for our research. I bet Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable with you. Hmm. If they're more comfortable with me, they're gonna come up to me some more. You got a research title. A score of a thousand points or more in the direction category during a photo evaluation. Hmm. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Hmm, do I have anything that's worth saving to the album? Maybe this one of Dodrio? This one's kind of cool. That's about it. Your photography seems to be going well. Anyway. I think you're about ready for a nighttime visit to Florio Na Nature Park. Here's the thing. Hopefully, you'll get to see one of Lental's greatest wonders, a glow called the Illumina Phenomenon. Of... You're the one who discovered how that glow happens, right, Professor? Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting to have something to investigate now. Yes, I am. But explaining the process scientifically was just one step toward my ultimate goal. Finding the special Pokemon spoken of in the Legends of Lental. You mean the Illumina Pokemon? I thought they were made up. No. No, they're very much real. You've seen the photos from Captain Vince's travelogue, haven't you? What? You can barely tell what's in those photos. And they're ancient anyway, literally a hundred years old. Right well, we can discuss that later. Right. For now, enjoy your nighttime outing. Well, a nighttime outing will be more interesting, but that'll have to wait till next time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up part two of this playthrough. Stay tuned for part three. Um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. Subscribe to my channel, uh, comment, uh, let, feel free to let me know what you liked about the video, what you didn't like even, um, and uh, see you all next time.